So in this video, I want to give you a review of the portable net, portable pickup net by Yoler. And on top of that, I just want to show you what makes a good portable net. Um, so there are other brands that may share some of the features. This is one of the better ones, and I have used many of them. So let me just show the parts to you and explain the good parts of this design. So the back, I would say is standard quality. It's, you know, nylon, it's probably 400D or so. Zipper is good. I mean, the back do get used a lot and the zipper is the first thing to break. So these zippers, I would say are average quality, which is good. The net is important. And let me show you the net. So there are a couple of things about the net that makes it really, really good. So this is one of the thing about the YOLO one. You look at the plastic, it is substantial. So these are um, some kind of plastic, they're not cloth. And I think they last way longer than cloth because the cloth tends to uh, wear out and break. And with abrasion, they break down very, very easily. So plastic is good. Let me roll this thing out. And by the way, this is the way to fold um, a pickup net. So you fold the net in half and then you make one twist to form an X in the middle and that makes it much easier to roll and unroll. So what I want to show you is the center piece. So all the nets are like this, right? There's a center piece with a center pole. This pole, it's key because this length sets the height of the net. So this should be 34 inches, including the base. So if this part is correct, your net is in the right height. However, some of the net, these, this piece again is cloth and sometimes the top is just sewn together. Now, you can see, right, this piece is pressing against this pole, and this is where every net breaks first, the top. So in this case, it is a complete piece of vinyl that goes across, and then there's an additional stitching over it. So I think this top should last for a while. So this is a really good design, um, both the material choice and the construction. It is folded over and then also uh, tagged with a seam. And then similarly, on the net post, this whole thing is again vinyl, uh, pretty strong. You see how it is sewn together. So it will wrap around um, the pole quite nicely, right? So this is strong. And then also in this one, the, um, the tensioning setup, let's see if I can get to this. Right, so they all use some kind of webbing and a buckle. But in this case, there we go. So this part goes around the net post and then you tighten it. In this case, the tightening is done with the buckle, right? So it is friction feed. As you apply tension, this thing is not going to slip. So this is kind of more like a uh, strap on a backpack instead of using a Velcro or hook and loop. So the other kind, you wrap it around and there's a piece of hook and loop of Velcro, which is the name brand if they use that, and you stick the tape back to hold the tension. The Velcro or the hook and loop will wear us out over time. So using a buckle, it's again, way stronger. So buckle system for tension, it's another great design. And while I have this example, I will point out one not so great thing, and this is, I think it's just a minor nitpick, but the net post usually have a cap on it to signify that this is a net post. These guys, oh, this one, actually it does, they are kind of loose, so every time I put this thing in, it gets caught and sometimes it pushes the, the cap out. So I always need to like, uh, find it and put it back on. Of course, the dab of glue will fix that, but this is a minor nitpick there. So and then onto the um, and then onto the metal pieces themselves, the frame. This uh, system 
uses tubular frames, meaning circle, right? So there are two kinds. Some uses a flat bar, and the idea of a flat bar is that it gives it more um, rigidity in the vertical plane, which means the net tends to stay straighter from end to end, which makes sense because you do have a 20-foot um, span end to end. But the tubular ones give you equal uh, rigidity on all directions, right? So it doesn't tend to sag this way. And how the tubular frame system account for the vertical rigidity is they have these tension tensioners in it, these click things. So what you can do is this thing clicks into the other end and stop this thing from twisting. So let me just show you why that is important. So this is the, um, the end piece, right? And this guy goes into it. So normally, if this is not clicked in, this will twist and then the whole net will just twist out of place. But if you click it in, then it's more rigid. Now, this uh, tension clip has good and bad points. They're good because they make the structure more rigid, but it makes it harder to put together and to disassemble. So pros and cons, especially on the net post. Again, the net post also has the tensioning thing there. So again, it's a little bit hard to get that inserted in the right place. And then the center post, definitely hard to do as well. Uh, so I think that's it, right? Um, Overall, it has all the good parts. The use of vinyl instead of cloth, the center pole uh, construction, the net part is solid. Nice round tubes with tensioner or the retention clips. And overall, it is just a very good design. And also, uh, the straps at the end of the net post is buckle system, not hook and loop of Velcro. So, uh, highly recommend this. The Yola net is not that much more expensive than the no-name brand one, and I think if you, you know, use this a lot, it's worth investing just a tiny, tiny bit more for a um, quality portable net. I'm just going to put this together, and you can watch me do that. So I want to show you my fastest way of assembling a pickleball net. So the key is to lay the pieces out first and then assemble the center pole first so again this one has the clip so I'm going to clip it in the right place and just roughly lay out the pieces Make sure you have the right end piece, which is this guy, the one that ends. And I'm going to put the end piece in first on the far side, so that it's ready. Now, so this can be, as I said, a one-person operation if you get all the pieces down. So we'll start with one end, and the um, again the clip helps because it kind of holds it together. It won't slide out, and I'm just going to assemble it. This is the double end one that switches the uh, male and female end. Let's keep going. And I'm going to thread this thing through. And because of the clip, again, I'm going to get the clip past that. So this is one of the tricks, is to make sure you have the center um, post ready because this way now, this half is very, very rigid, so it's not going to fall over. So I can, just one person, I can continue to assemble this without worrying this thing falling off and pulling the whole thing down. So again, even here, right, you can see that it's holding up. And all I need to do is connect the final two pieces. So that's why this is so much easier.
And there you have it. Now I know this guy's probably off a little bit, but we'll figure that out when we get the net down. So now put the net together. Again, fold it upright so that when you unroll it, it's ready to go. I'm gonna start from that end. Click that in place. This down a little. out, line up the clip, get the clip in, so again, this is the bad part about having a clip here. So once we fix up um, both sides of the net, then it's just using this strap to tighten it. And then the net is set up. So I'm doing it kind of slowly. If I do it quickly, I can probably get this done in uh, maybe three minutes or less. Again, the key is lay out the, the system and pieces in place and make sure you use the middle support to hold up the bottom bar as you assemble the rest of it. So this is the Yola uh, portable pickup on net. It has uh, quite a few good features, so I definitely recommend it. But if you're looking for a different brand, look for uh, those things, right? The How the center pole tape area is constructed, whether they use buckle or Velcro on the edge. And then finally, how the, um, the beam or the bar is connected together. So this is the Yola portable pickup on that.